Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another Fortnite Avatar Elements video here on the channel. Now, today we are on to the second batch of our Avatar Elements quests, which is the Earth Chakra. Now, for those of you who haven't watched the show, Earth is for the green character there, which is Toph. Now, Toph is blind. Um, she's also a bloody brilliant character. We love Toph. But she is giving us the next set of characters, uh, of quests, sorry, in the form of the Earth Chakra. So again, we have some quests where you want to get XP in creative, but we're not going to go over those in this video. The six we're going to go over are in normal game modes, and they require the following things. So, land at an elemental shine from the bus shouldn't be too hard to do. Travel 100 meters while sliding is very easy. Destroy 50 stone structures. That might take you a few games, but it shouldn't be too hard. Visit Mount Olympus and coastal columns. Again, that's actually not that hard. Collect three cabbages is fairly easy. And use the rock wall and hit an opponent with a thrown rock, which might be the hardest one on there, but still not too hard. And it even marks which of the two shrines you need to go to, uh, well, which two of the eight shrines you need to go to. Uh, in order to get yourself the earthbending mythic that you're going to need to use the rock wall and throne rock abilities. So, without further ado, we're going to go in, we're going to go down to one of those earth and elemental shrines, get ourselves the earthbending mythic and see how many of these quests we can complete in a single game. Is that nice and easy? We should be able to complete most of them, and by the sounds of them, I should think we probably will anyway. So, without further ado, let's get straight into a game. So here we are coming in to land at the westernmost elemental shrine, which is an earth shrine. It's on top of this little mountain. Um, it's actually right over by one of my landing spots in ranked, to be fair. So uh, we'll come over here. And this is also where you can actually find Toph. So. Without further ado, I guess we get ourselves a mythic. Then you just gotta hit someone with it, which that seems to be the hard part. Why is it so hard to hit someone with this thing? Okay, hitting someone with this rock wall was incredibly hard to do. <laughs> like, how the hell are you supposed to do that? Hmm. Okay, well, we've got one at least. We landed there, we've got one, we've done the ball. I guess we've just got to find... Find someone to hit with the rocks. And we have two of them, so we can just keep reloading the thing. I guess then the best thing that we can do will back off. We hit we did already hit someone. So that's always useful. Oh my word. This is one kind of a start to a game, huh? So, I don't even know how we killed that guy, but we did. 
I'm actually starting to realize the earthbending mythic is actually really good. So. What else have we got left to do? We've got to destroy some more stone structures, which seems we should be able to do that here. Everything here seems to be made of stone. We've got to slide a little bit further. We've got to go and visit Coastal Columns, which is also over here. So I guess we'll head over there next. All in all, though, again, these quests seem really easy, which is nice for a lot of people. It means that you can get them over and done with quite quickly and move on to the next thing. All we've got to do, visit coastal columns and then make a very quick run away. In fact, yeah, we just need to run away. So, anyway, we've got coastal columns now. All we're going to do then is destroy some more stone structures and then visit Mount Olympus. Now, whether or not we get to Olympus in this game is another question. But destroying stone structures should be very easy to do. If I just run into Pleasant Piazza and just break some of the houses there, they're all made of stone. So that shouldn't take long. That should be quite an easy quest to do. Um, I mean, all in all, it seems... Like these quests, I'll have done really, really, really quickly, but I guess that's the way it works sometimes. Sometimes you get lucky and you just get those quests done incredibly quick. Yeah, it's not hard to destroy 50 stone structures, to be honest. A lot of the buildings in the map, this chapter, are made of stone. So, you've got that working in your favour. So now all we're going to do then is head over to Mount Olympus to complete the final quest for the Earth Sh Chakra. So, I guess we'll hop in a car and make our way over there. So, whilst we make this lovely long journey across the map to Mount Olympus, it raises a question for you guys, and that question is quite simple, it's just, which of the mini event passes was your favourite? So, was it the old Dragon Ball Unleashed? Was it the heisted uh, stuff? Was it the... Um, Jujutsu Kaisen Break the Curse? Was it the Star Wars Find the Force? Or is it Avatar Elements? I feel like I've missed one there. Uh, which one did I miss? I definitely missed one. I just don't know what. Let me know which one I missed, if you guys know, but yeah, what what one was your favourite? That's the two question we have. Is which of the event passes was your favourite? And why, I guess as well. We'd like to hear reasons why.
You know what? So as not to draw attention to ourselves, we're just going to run over there. So, <laughs> that's it. It was that simple. That's unedited, uncut footage. Ten minutes of the video's been, and that was including the intro. So we're talking like eight minutes to complete all of your Earth Shack requests. You can, if you are lo somewhat lucky, get them all done in one round. However, most people it might take two or three matches, but all in all, Earth Chakra, nice, quick, easy, and simple. Well, we just had the quickest death to a minion I've ever seen. So, be warned, it seems the NPCs are hitting harder than usual, because, I mean, there's no way on this planet I should have got killed as quickly as I just did, but... Loading out, you should, for this week, get another 2,100 chi. Obviously, there is 2,000 up for grabs from um, Creative every week as well, so there is more than enough chi for you to complete your pass just by doing Creative or just by doing Battle Royale. You don't have to do both sets, but obviously, if you do both sets, you'll actually be able to finish the pass in just three days' time when the Fire Shack requests release. But here we are. We've also got a um, level up token as well there. In fact, we should put two level up tokens there. Yeah, we do. So, flying through the pass already. Um, 4,200 maximum from Battle Royale alone, 4,000 maximum for Creative alone. 8.2 thousand now, if you have done your Creative as well as your Battle Royale quests. But all in all, this is quite an easy uh, pass to go through. And the music on this screen is absolutely beautiful. But yeah, we will obviously see where this progresses in three days time when we get the next set of quests, stage three for the Fire Chakra. But until then guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative, enjoyable and fun to watch as always, and I'll see you all in the next one.